Hey guys, welcome to Dom Nom Nom. I'm Dom and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a very simple yet impressive braided apple danish. It's a sweet apple filling stuffed inside a braided puff pastry drizzled with a delicious glaze. So let's get started. To make our filling we're going to need two Granny Smith apples washed and peeled. I like to use Granny Smiths whenever I'm baking because they have a nice tartness to them that really balance out the added sugar and they tend to hold their shape better. Once your apples are peeled, dice them into 1 inch cubes, transfer them into a bowl and head over to your stove. In a large skillet, melt down 3 tablespoons of butter. Add in a quarter cup of granulated sugar and all of your diced apples. Sprinkle with ground cinnamon and give it a stir to coat the apples in that buttery sugar mixture. Cook this on medium heat until the apples and sugar caramelize and soften slightly. Your apples should be tender and coated with that thick caramel-like syrup. Now that your filling is done, put it in a bowl and place it in the fridge to cool completely. Remember that when it comes to puff pastry, you want to work with really cold ingredients and a really hot oven. Now let's prepare our pastry. Lightly flour your work surface and place down your puff pastry. Make sure that you transfer your pastry from the freezer to your fridge the night before so it can thaw properly. Flour both the top of your pastry and your rolling pin and roll out your pastry lengthwise until it's 2 to 3 inches longer than when you started. Make sure to constantly move your dough so it doesn't stick to your countertop. Remove your filling from your fridge and begin assembling. Carefully spoon your filling into the center of the pastry, leaving 2 inches between the top and the bottom, and 4 inches between the sides. Try to avoid spooning too much of the liquid onto your pastry. Now it's time to start cutting. Cut off the corners of your pastry at an angle and remove. Next, cut the sides into strips diagonally. Once all your cuts have been made, it's time to start braiding. Fold the top flap over your filling. Then, fold over each of the strips one by one, alternating each side. Press down to seal. Just before you reach your last row of strips, fold over the bottom flap then finish off with your remaining two strips. Transfer your braided danish onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper or a silpat like I have here. In a small bowl, beat together one egg with a tablespoon of water. Brush the top of your pastry with egg wash and sprinkle with coarse sugar to get that nice crunch on top of your pastry. If you don't have coarse sugar, go ahead and use granulated sugar to get the same effect. Bake in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes or until the pastry is puffed and golden brown. While our pastry bakes, make the glaze. In a small bowl, combine half a cup of powdered sugar with half a tablespoon of milk. Take your pastry out of the oven and allow it to cool before drizzling with the glaze. And there you have your simple braided apple danish. You can serve it as is or topped off with vanilla ice cream. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope you go out and try this recipe for yourself. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching.